wrong with this? Brothers and sisters outside here in the street, just walking up and down the streets and all that. The children, the senior citizens, the working class, the good as well as the bad. We don't turn nobody away. We try to listen to everybody. We try to see what we can do. So today we're here at Chalmers Park with Mr. Urban Shannon and Mr. John Brickhouse. Two of my mentors in life. They teach me so much about community relations. Uh, Mr. Brickhouse helped me grow in character because I was having a problem with another person here at the site and he was like, no, don't act like that. He taught me how to be a better person. So I just love both of these men very, 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 very much. And I just wanted everybody to know Mr. Brickhouse, Mr. John Brickhouse, and Mr. Raymond Shannon. Hello, folks. How are you? We're glad you could be with us here today. Uh, Alicia hit on one main key word that I think that all of us need to really understand about, and that was the word love. Love is a universal situation for all of us, and if we all learn how to love one another a little bit better in all different kinds of ways, with the right perception of what love means, we can formulate better relationships in the activities that we're doing. I run the Harmonious Volunteer Center. John runs North Penn Civic Association. But because we join together in a business relationship, we're able to love as many people as possible that need a betterment in their lives. So here's John. He'll share a few words and a few thoughts with you while I continue to work on some paperwork here. Be back with you soon. Good afternoon. Glad to have you in here. Uh, out outside, quiet inside, cool, relaxing, you know, uh, glad that you could take a, a moment to, 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 to do this. Uh, Tell us about you, who you are. You're like such a great person in this community with all your attributes for I mean you've been here forever you know everybody from the mayor to the councilman to the DA's they all grew up as little kids so we just wanted a little bit of that well yeah well I came I came up with some <coughs> I came up with some of them guys and uh, we all ran for political office at the same time Mayor Michael Miller, Shaka Patah, Vincent Hughes, Jewel Williams, Curtis Jones, you name them, I don't know what Ed Wendell, you, you name them, I've been had some type of association with them. Uh, but that, when we going through that, that enabled me to try to understand with the political arena was. Um, the answer always come back down to the people in the community. If there's people that got to be fed, clothed, or taken care of, or relaxed, we, we have to do it. Uh, we doing the job that the, the political people should be doing. Uh, we're not no well-being executives like they are. The most uh, humble people is trying to uh, make this a better place for everybody. So, so you don't get paid to be here? Well, not as of yet. So what kind of pay do you get? Well, I mean, like, why do you come? If you're not getting paid, if there's no money in it for you, why do you come? Well, just the pleasure of serving the people. That's what I do. I serve the people. 
I don't get paid for it. I serve them. Uh, if you have any needs or wants, we try to help them out. Uh, we help them out in so many different ways. If somebody has a fire or something like that, right? Well, we go out and get furniture and stuff like that there, ice boxes, refrigerators, all, all types of furniture, plates, and all like that there. And we try to give it to the person so that they can at least try to get set again to get back up on their feet. Uh, we have food programs. That anything that, that we can do to help the kids and the people. We have summer camps. We have after school programs, we have computer classes, and anything, anything that we can take and do to, uh, to make life easier and better for our brothers and sisters out here in the street.